Have you ever been hungry and wanted something quick and easy to make? Well, this is the video for you. We have loaded buffalo chicken potato skins. Sit tight. I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. All right, you know the drill. Go ahead and screenshot this, gather your ingredients, get everything situated, and let's go ahead and get into this recipe. All right, here's everything. So first we're gonna go ahead and cut our potatoes in half. Then we're gonna remove the center and set it aside. We have our chicken, we have our bacon, we have our freshly grated cheddar cheese, we have our seasonings, buffalo sauce, and we have our scallions. I forgot to put the onion up here, but I'm definitely using onions. We're gonna dice those down and cook it as well. So here's everything, let's get to it. All right, the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and chop your bacon. Now you can cut this to any size you want, but this was the perfect size for this recipe for me. So cut it how you want it, set it aside in a bowl, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on and chop it up our onions. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and dice our onion. Now, if you're not a fan of onions, you can skip this stuff all together. But if you like onions, go ahead and follow these instructions. So you wanna cut the onion in half, and we're gonna go ahead and dice this small to medium size. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna saute it anyway, but you know, as long as you get it chopped down, it's fine. We're gonna use the bacon fat from the bacon, the saute the onions and the chicken. So make sure you go ahead and get everything prepped up, set it aside and let's get started with the bacon. All right, over medium to medium high heat, go ahead and pour your bacon inside the skillet. Now you wanna make sure you break the bacon all the way up and spread it because we want the bacon to cook evenly. So. Make sure you spread that out real good and let it cook for five to seven minutes. For me, it took probably seven minutes because I like mine crispy, but if you don't like it crispy as mine, just go ahead and let it cook for like five minutes or until your desired doneness. Then remove some of the oils or the fat from the pan so we can go ahead and saute our onions. We don't want a whole lot of fat in this, we just want enough to get that bacon flavor. And you can cook this to your desired doneness. I mean, it took me five minutes to get it to this point, but if you want to cook it longer, it's really up to you. And once you cook this down, Go ahead and add your chicken right on top of it. Then we're gonna mix it all up. We're gonna add some seasonings, cook it down a little bit. We're gonna add some bacon and some buffalo sauce. And once we get it cooked down a little bit, we're gonna cut our stove off, remove everything from the pan to a bowl or a sheet pan, put it in the refrigerator for maybe 10 minutes or so. And once everything cooled down enough for you to be able to handle it, to stuff the potatoes, then we'll move on to the next step. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and cut our potatoes in half. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves an ice cream scoop or a spoon. Then we're gonna go ahead and scoop out the middle of the potato. Now, we don't wanna scoop everything out. We just want enough to make a pocket so we can go ahead and put our mixture in that we made earlier. And once we do this, you can save the potatoes or you can throw them away, it's up to you. Once you do all that, set it aside on a sheet pan. And then we're gonna go ahead and get our frying station together. We're gonna get our pot or a pan, whatever you have available. We're gonna grab our oil and we're gonna go ahead and start frying. If you ever worked at a restaurant, you know we cook at 350 degrees Fahrenheit there. But at home, we're gonna do it at 325. The reason why, because in restaurants, the potato skins are frozen in the bag. So you wanna go ahead and knock that chill off. You wanna cook it thoroughly. So 350 degrees work and you're trying to get it out so quick. So that works there. But at home, we're gonna do it at 325 because these are fresh. And we don't want these to burn before they actually cook. So set it to 325, cook for maybe five minutes or to golden brown like you see here. And then once you get it to this point, go ahead and remove it, let it drain on a sheet pan. And then we're gonna go ahead and get our mixture and start building our potato skins. All right, now that everything is cool, go ahead and add some cheese to your mixture. Now you wanna go ahead and get this a thorough mix because we want a piece of cheese in every bite of this. So mix it up real good, then set it aside. Preheat your oven to 350 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or a low broil. Don't do high unless you're gonna sit there and watch it because you don't want this to burn. So low broil works. You can kind of step off to the side a little bit, you know, look at your phone or get a drink of water, something like that or whatever. But don't do high unless you're gonna watch it. And remember, these are your potato skins. If you wanna add a lot of mixture, you can. If you wanna add a little bit of mixture, you can. Just add what you're gonna add to the potato skins. Add some cheese on top 
and then go ahead and place these in the oven for five minutes or until the cheese is melted. Once you get the cheese melted to your desired melt or meltness or whatever they call it, remove it, set it aside, and let's plate up. All right, boom, there you have it. Loaded potato skins, y'all. These things was fire. And now you can customize this recipe to your liking. If you wanna add some barbecue sauce, go ahead and add it. If you wanna use Alfredo sauce or marinara, go ahead and add what you want. If you wanna make it seafood, go ahead and add what you want, it's fine. Now you know I had to go with the ranch dressing, why? Because ranch tastes better than blue cheese. I don't care, fight me. <laughs> now I'm just playing, but if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Share this video also, and we'll see you on the next one.